Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is find the current through resistor C. Now, they've been kind enough to give you the total current. So the total current is always equal to the sum of all the branch currents. So the total current is 5 amps. So that means 5 amps here, 5 amps here. So we've got 3 amps through B. So what's going to go through C? Easy. 5 amps minus 3 amps equals 2 amps. Done. So that one equals 2 amps. Alright, now the total voltage. Alright, finding total voltage. Now to do that, uh, you need to find the voltage here and here. Okay, so we know there's two amps in here, so we can put two amps. So you, we're going to call this one VA. So voltage A equals times R. So you have two amps times 50 ohms. That equals 100 volts. Now if we call this one VC, VC equals 20 volts. Nothing to work out there. Now we need to know what VD is. V D voltage equals P over I. So that equals 1900 over 5 equals 380 volts. So if you sum all these up, you'll get the VT. VT equals 100 plus 20 plus 380 equals 400, 500, 500 volts. Now we just need total power. Power equals P times I in DC. So P T equals V T times I T. Now we know equals 500 volts now times the 5 amps what's that equal? 2500 watts that's it all marks all working out